Top 5 Places to Visit in South Korea Welcome to my channel. So before we get started with our video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you are new here subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any update. Occupying the southern half of the Korean Peninsula is the country of South Korea. Completely distinct and independent from neighboring North Korea, South Korea is a thoroughly modern, engaging, and thrilling destination for travelers. Major cities like Seoul offers the buzz of an urban metropolis along with fantastic nightlife and a chance to discover the latest technological marvel. However, South Korea is also home to scenic national parks and plenty of places where you can slow down and enjoy the atmosphere. From islands off the coast to the fearsome border zone in the middle of the Korean peninsula, there are countless things to do, see and explore on your next trip to South Korea. South Korea offers everything a traveler could want in a destination. It has a long and fascinating history, a wonderful culture, amazing food, friendly people, and excellent tourism infrastructure. Here are the top 5 best places to visit in South Korea. Number 5. Bukshan Hanok Village. Hanok villages, which can be found in a few places in Seoul and around Korea, are living museums. They're restored and preserved ancient neighborhoods, some in their original location and some recreated with hanoks moved from elsewhere. They allow visitors to not only experience what it was like to live in a hanok, but also what it was like to live in Korea 600 years ago. You can experience the tiny, narrow streets and also explore Korean culture, as many of the hanoks are museums or offer cultural demonstrations. Many are private homes, and some offer accommodations. That's what makes these village areas so special, they are truly living history because many of the homes are privately owned and occupied by real residents. Bukshan Hanok Village is a popular place to explore, as it's right in central Seoul, in the area between the Gyeongbokgung Palace and the Changdeokgung Palace. Number 4. And Seoul Tower. Yes, everyone visiting Seoul should go up to the city's iconic observation tower. Its position almost on top of a mountain, plus the height of the tower itself, gets you almost 500 meters above sea level and the city below. But leave some time to explore the surrounding mountain area. The tower is near the top of Mount Namsan, and the entire area is Namsan Park, which is run by the city. There are miles of hiking trails to explore, all within a few minutes of downtown Seoul. The top levels of the N Seoul Tower include indoor and outdoor observation areas and restaurants. The exterior of the tower is covered in LED lighting, which is illuminated each night in seasonal light shows. There's a cable car that takes you from the city, near Myeongdong, to the tower's base area. You can then hike from here. After climbing the mountain and riding on the cable car, leave time to explore the Namsan Hanok village. These preserved historic villages, which are located all over Seoul and Korea, are recreations of ancient Korean neighborhoods. This village includes five restored hanoks or traditional Korean homes. Number 3. Jeonju. Jeonju is a very historic city, once the spiritual capital of the Joseon dynasty. It's about 90 minutes by train from Seoul. It's home to many ancient temples and shrines along with a Hanok village. These are found throughout Korea. They are preserved neighborhoods of ancient homes, hanoks, allowing visitors to get a feel for what life was like in ancient Korea. Some of the homes in the Hanok villages are open for tours, and others have been made into museum, but most remain private homes. Number 2. Pusan. Did you know you can hit the beach in Korea? Pusan is the second largest city in the country, and its coast is lined with some beautiful beaches and resorts. There's a lot of culture and history here too. Be sure to visit the Bayamyosa Temple and the hillside village of Gamjin. Gamjin is a European-style village on the cliffs above the sea, like Korea's version of Santorini. Seafood lovers should be sure to visit Jagalki Market, the country's largest commercial seafood market. Part of the market is open to consumers, and many small restaurants will cook up your purchase, so you can eat it right here. Getting to Pusan is easy, it takes a little more than 2 hours from Seoul on Korea's KTX high-speed bullet train. Number 1. Changdeokgung Palace. Of the five grand palaces built by the Joseon dynasty in the 15th century around Seoul, Changdeokgung Palace was always the preferred royal residence. It's where the king and royal family live their daily lives. The palace isn't just a single building, it's a complex of buildings, and each served a different purpose. 
Some are accommodations, some are libraries, dining rooms, and meeting rooms, among other uses. Be sure to spend some time in the 78-acre Hoan, or Palace Garden, located behind the palace. It's filled with pathways, green spaces, pagodas, streams, and lakes. Let us know what you think about the list in the comments section below. If you enjoy this video, please like the video and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you.